What's up, YouTube? Surreal Rager here, and today we're going to review Far Cry 4 for Xbox One. This game is awesome. I just got done beating it twice. So I beat the game. I was going to post a review, but then I wanted to play it again and beat it twice. So here's my review. Get this game. The sequel is coming out soon in March, but this game is awesome. This is one of the greats. Uh, the set on my shelf for months. I bought this, and I just it just sat there. And eventually, I said, I need to play this game. Gave it a shot. It was kind of okay to start. I wasn't that good at it. And it's my first time playing any Far Cry game from the series. But I love it. Uh, your character is caught in conflict. His, his, both of his parents are passed. He goes back to this place called Karat to uh, place his mother's ashes in a place of her desire. His dad passed away before that. There is a... A crazed leader that leads the country that is involved with his mom and so his family story is kind of messed up so you find collectibles in the game that give you a better uh, backstory for that in addition to talking to people that tell you about it uh, so to start off yeah there are collectibles there are journal entries from your dad there are propaganda posters you need to take down there are lost letters uh, I'm not sure if you can read those I think you can but I haven't looked that far into it honestly I collected all of the the journal ent uh, yeah the journal entries and read those and got the backstory and I was satisfied so I didn't read the lost letters, so journal entries, uh, lost letters, propaganda posters, and then there are these statues that you can spin that you gain karma for and you have uh, levels of karma I believe up to eight and that unlocks guns and skills in your skill tree. Every time you uh, beat a mission or level up your karma. Uh, and a couple other things that gives you more of those points to use in your skill tree to unlock uh, takedowns, um, to take down enemies, um, plenty of other things. There's awesome skill tree that you use, and you complete missions to unlock more sets in your skill tree and use points to unlock those skills. So four collectibles, there's a skill tree to build off of, there are 15 vehicles, including this, it's called a buzzer, it's a personal... Helicopter, it's awesome. I've used that many times to complete objectives in the game, which some include there are bell towers, or excuse me, uh, radio towers that uh, have um, like a propaganda message, and you climb up these radio towers and you jam the signal by breaking the technology up there, and that's how you liberate it. So there are radio towers that you need to climb to destroy the stuff up top so it stops spewing propaganda. There are outposts you liberate by killing all the enemies. Then there are fortresses that are huge, huge bases that are used for many things in addition to a fast travel, more mission opportunities. But uh, those are huge bases filled with enemies that once you completely clear every enemy, it's conquered. And there are four of those. There are main story missions, there are side, uh, side missions, and you don't have to complete all the side missions, but uh, most of those unlock skills in your skill tree, so it's beneficial to do so. Um, there is a co-op mode, I haven't done it, there's also stuff you can do online. I tried to play online with people, but this came out like, what, like over a year ago, so I don't think many people are playing, so I didn't have the best opportunity to try to unlock some of the achievements. Um, I love how this game makes you it uh, it makes you use guns and do missions that personally I wouldn't otherwise do. So one of the missions it tells you to it makes you use the sniper rifle, which I didn't think I was that good at, and I didn't prefer to use that gun. But it made you use it in a mission. Then I got way better at using it, and then I love using the sniper rifle. So that was awesome. One of the missions makes you use the hand grenade launcher which is a personal rocket launcher basically, but for hand grenades, which is awesome. I use that so much. Um, it makes you use the bow, and I believe eventually the crossbow. And it's great to be good at those items because if you can use the bow or the crossbow well, when you shoot animals, you can skin them. And if you get a clean kill, which is I think like you kill it with one shot from the bow, you get twice as much fur and you collect fur to upgrade your items and your bags and your bags allow you to carry more items and more money and it's just it's just awesome how it, it makes you use these guns to do 
these missions or quests or things to gain from it. It's awesome how it forces you to do that. Specifically for me, the sniper rifle, because I was really bad at that. Um, your skill tree has a couple uh, skills in there that require you to discreetly conquer uh, bases. So you have to kill all the enemies without being detected, which is the crossbow is perfect for that. And I really didn't like using the takedowns and the crossbow and being discreet, but because it unlocked more of your skill tree, I did it, and then eventually, like I said before, it made me really good at using those items, and I really preferred doing that afterwards. So I found myself like trying to be discreet and doing takedowns and getting enemies and using the crossbow. There's also another cool tool to use when you're being discreet is you can bait people or enemies. So when you kill a animal, you skin them so you get the fur for some of your upgrades, and you also you get bait. So you can throw bait, it will bring in a predator, and they will attack an enemy for you. And it doesn't give away you. It can, if you're not discreet with it, but it's just another way to take down the bases and fortresses and enemies discreetly. So I really like how it forces you to use items and do missions that uh, maybe you wouldn't otherwise do. Me personally, I would not do. But it was awesome because it made me enjoy the game even more. And... I love it because of it. So the story is great uh, as you do the main storyline, more of the backstory unfolds as to your family and this crazy leader and how they're intertwined and where you fit in the mix. And that is the baseline, but also you're supposed to choose between leaders that you meet from the beginning and choose missions and your choices matter um, based on the, the leader you choose. So there's two trees to go off of, you could say, and there is one leader over here and one leader over here, and they give you a layout of how they're going to do their plan of attack, and you choose whose side you're on. And then eventually that person like leads your team. Um, it's called the, uh, the Golden Path is your team. And your nationalists that uh, want to fight the Royal Army, which is led by this crazed guy on the cover called Pagan Min. Great game. Like I said, I beat it twice. I would definitely recommend this to anybody and everybody. It's also for PlayStation 4. Great game. I love the guns. I love the gameplay. I love uh, the takedowns for enemies. Eventually, you get to unlock a semi-automatic shotgun, which is definitely my favorite gun. I've used that so much. So once you eventually unlock that, it's just, it's just game over. It's awesome. I love this game. I can't stop talking about it. The vehicles are fun. The enemies are cool. There's two different types of enemies, like a regular, or a few actually. Uh, normal enemy, which are kind of weak. There's a uh, enemy with like a bunch of armor. Then there's a heavy enemy. And they have uh, like flamethrowers or, you know, big machine guns. And another skill in your skill tree is to take down the heavy enemies. And it's awesome. You sneak up on them from behind and you punch in the right analog stick. And he like jumps on him and stabs him twice. It's crazy. It's really cool looking. And the animals in the game are awesome. You don't have to be on a mission to find them or hunt them or be attacked by them. So much fun stuff. You, if you use a flamethrower or a bomb, some sort of explosive or a car explodes near trees or grass, like it'll catch fire, it'll burn. So many cool aspects to this game. I could probably go on, but moral of this is... This game is awesome, and I definitely recommend it. Two thumbs up. Get this game. And the next one, uh, Far Cry 5, comes out in March, so I'll definitely be picking that up. So, that's my recommendation. Definitely get this game. Two thumbs up. Thanks for watching.